something that's really important and I think is the way forward rather than, you know, telling Albanian society, this is how it's going to be, mm -hmm. is through exposure, through desensitizing, through familiarizing people, yeah. through educating people, you know, and I think over mm -hmm. the last few years, things have maybe progressed in some ways, as in, I remember the first Pride <coughs> I went to, it, there was very few people there, it was full of police, yeah. most of the people there who were not foreigners were wearing masks. Yeah. Now it's completely different, you know, it's things have yeah. changed, people are a lot more open, there are bars which are well known as being LGBT, yeah. you know, there are festivals, events. Yeah. Um, I think these play a huge role in um, uh, giving more freedom and security yes. to the LGBT yes. community, uh -huh. which is where your festival comes in. So uh -huh. between the 30th of September <coughs> and the 17th of October, you have the Queer Film Marathon. This is the fifth yeah. edition of the festival. Yeah. You have the floor. Tell me what it's all about. <laughs> so the Queer Film Festival, I will tell you how the, the story started. Mm -hmm. uh, I was uh, proposed by a friend of mine who is a producer in, uh, in, the, in the Netherlands in order to do this festival in Albania. It was 2018. I was like, uh, he knows that I, I like challenges and I like to fight, but my fear was, okay, we'll do it, but will people be interested in that? How mm -hmm. people will react? Will they come to see our movies? Okay, let's try let's this. Try we tried with the International Human Rights Film Festival, the first two editions, because like in order to be to see how people will mm -hmm. react and to be together, I was surprised that people were, uh, if I can use this word, hungry to see this kind of movies. Which what is it? Queer movies are still are movies that are still considered taboo to be shown in a lot of countries. Mm -hmm. In these queer movies, it is uh, the life, our life as LGBTI persons portrayed in the media, in the movies, like to see what is our daily life, mm -hmm. what is our life about, which this is very important to help people, the general public, to change people's hearts and minds. This is very important. Mm -hmm. The Queer Festival is not only for LGBTI people. In fact, it's more for the general public. Yes to come and to see. There is, I always say, there is in our events, of course, everything is uh, the, free of charge. The mm -hmm. entrance is free and everyone is invited and there are no cameras, no media, no, no TVs. So for everyone to feel safe in mm -hmm. order to come, even if you are an LGBTI person or an LG, uh, a parent that you have an LGBTI uh, ch child or that you, someone that you just want to know more about, uh, about it, uh, you can come without uh, disclosing your, your identity mm -hmm. or whatever. It's very cultural events are very important because uh, bring the education in a very soft way to, to people's hearts. Mm -hmm. uh, and because when you see a movie, a non queer movie, like uh, queer mo uh, movies make, make us think, make us cry, make us uh, And just reflect. one second, when you say non-queer movie that portrays heterosexual relationships, by that you're referring to 99.9% .9 of all films ever made oh. about romance. <laughs> Because people are going to say, oh, why don't we have a straight film festival? You have Hollywood, Bollywood. Yeah, exactly. You have every, you know, we, are, we yes. know very well how straight relationships work. We are bombarded with it from fairy exactly. tales right through to blockbuster Hollywood movies. So exactly. this is not about and propaganda from your side. This no, is, this no. is, we have relationships too and they're normal like yours. Here you are. And this is exactly, and this is an educational festival, mm. like nor, as you said, normal. So you come and see that we, our life is just normal. I yeah. love a lot, a lot of producers that recently, in the recent years, they have, uh, they have, um, uh, how can I say, they have included uh, in the not only a movie like for LGBTI people including both lives because we live yes. in, a, in a heterosexual community and including how these relationships uh, are together is very beautiful there are mm -hmm. a lot of movies and when we select the movies trust me I always cry and I don't want to see them because like it's very it's very emotional how it is portrayed and this is the goal like to make people see how is our real life to make them think to make them reflect before doing that on Online speech. How yes. I'm, I'm going yeah, yeah. out of this media. So this this is the goal of it to educate the general community mm -hmm. that everyone is equal and we have the same the same life, the same fears, the same strength, the same uh, challenges and everything. So this is not a because I know what people have said. They're saying, yeah. oh, they've got their own festival. Why do they need their own? They should just get about their lives being quiet or whatever. So yeah. this is not just a film about queer people for queer people. This is yeah. a, a film, sorry, a film festival. This is a film festival about queer people's lives yeah. through art, through culture, through film. But it's for everybody. 
the same way that Hollywood is for everybody. Exactly. Yes. I'm very happy that also our artists uh, from Albania are joining. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm very happy that you will join us uh, this session too, uh, because like it's very important for artists and for people mm -hmm. like you and journalists and everyone that is in the in the public uh, sphere, because your voices are heard yeah. and um, artists' voices are pres are being transmitted to the to the general public and an artist can tell. We know we have big artists uh, internationally that have made change in regards with uh, with their voice in this uh, in this regard. Also, we have. Uh, 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 during the festival, we have uh, after each movie a panel, which are artists, which are uh, uh, distinguished ambassadors and other distinguished guests that uh, will talk about not only about the movie but the mm -hmm. real situation. How is it and how we can improve it uh, together? I mean, people might say, I mean, disclosure to the readers, I'm going to talk about my book yes. at, at one <laughs> of your events because. It was quite interesting. I wrote in my book about the situation with the LGBT mm -hmm. community. I, I wrote about Pride being one of the events that people could attend yes. here. And I'd written about how the situation had developed a bit over the years. Uh -huh. And um, it was positive-ish. You know, things are okay. not as bad as they were. But just before the book was published, I had to rewrite it because mm. things took a turn for the worse when there were all these protests mm -hmm. after mm -hmm. the two ladies that we know had yeah. their, their ceremony at the, mm. the municipality. So I actually had to rewrite it yeah. just before it went to press, which yeah. was a big shame. It felt like taking a big step back on seven years of experiences that I'd had. And uh, maybe people think, well, why, why is she getting involved? You know, they say, oh, you're being paid by this, you're being paid by that, or yeah. Soros, or all this yeah. nonsense you know but actually i grew up in the uk i am in a relationship with a man but yeah. i grew up in the uk my two of my friends from mm -hmm. the age of three and four years old i knew at the time were not i'm not going to say normal but in my mind as a four-year-old yeah i knew he was different from okay, the yes. other boys in my yeah. class you know mm -hmm. there was a, a another student in my class from the age of five or six who chose to present as a man is, yeah. is a, i don't know if i'm using the correct terminology yeah, i don't yeah, know how yeah. to explain it at that age but mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it was never a big deal it was never a big deal cool okay you want me to call you alex not alexandra no yeah. problem at all it was never a problem. The teachers never made it a big deal. My parents never said, don't play with this person, don't play with that someone. It, it had always been normal um, yeah. as I grew up. So then coming to Albania where things uh -huh. are so different, it, it's yeah. completely alien to me. You, I mean, you mentioned something very, very nice uh, that came to my mind to me now. Because during our, during the festival now, we are. Uh, it's even a test for us. Uh, we mm. are, uh, and it's something new. We are going in six cities on uh -huh. tour around Albania, which will be, uh, I can tell the city, it will be Škodra, uh, uh, Kuchova, uh, Pogradec, uh, Korch and Saranda. Wow. Which, like, even for us is a challenge. Yeah. Uh, we are collaborating. There's a few of those in particular that I think would be more challenging than others. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, uh, talking with uh, all of them, we, we, are, we were very careful to choose which movie will go on tour. Mm -hmm. The problem, because, like, working uh, so for many years outside uh, Tirana, uh, the problem is not of me being gay or of other people of the community. The problem is in their small communities, what they will say, what the neighbor, what the mother, what yeah, the yeah, yeah, father, yeah. what everyone will say. And this was their problem. Uh, for some of them, they are not, uh, I mean, not even they cannot even express like the gratitude or or something that they like to hear something from me or from other activists mm. you know and being careful of choosing the movie because the comments were like we don't want a movie that has intimacy which a lot of Hollywood movies, as you mentioned, like they they have a lot of intimacy. Yeah, like it's uh, on prime time TV. I, exactly. You know? So an hour. I mean, I was trying to explain, and then with the team, we chose. We said, okay, you don't want intimacy. Then we will put a, an emotional movie so you can cry. We made a little bit of fun, emotional movie, but about knowing more about the life, yes. how how it goes. It's challenging. Uh, we are collaborating there with uh, women rights organization mm -hmm. and youth organization in order to bring them together and to bring more. Education. Uh, of course, there will be uh, panels or so, discussion panels, in order to measure a little bit uh, the mentality that we know, but to bring 
why we choose cities outside and now we are choosing bigger cities maybe next year we choose even smaller cities let's mm -hmm. see how it will go well, because like we bring even this, in these remote areas that there is one LGBTI person that feels alone feels yes. depressed feels that uh, his, his mental or her mental health is, is not bad in order to bring that attention and they can come to us we are here to help you because we have all been in, in very difficult situation that a lot of people has committed suicide of us mm -hmm. like because of societal acceptance because because of, uh, of family non-acceptance. Uh, non this is not... But do you... I mean, going to some of these places, mm -hmm. do you do you worry about security? I mean, like, imagine going to, like, Tropoia or Peshkopi or, like, No, Lushit. we are not teasing that much for the moment. <laughs> okay, <laughs> maybe those are slowly. extremes, but do you have concerns about, I mean, are you worried about your safety going to some of these places? Because the reality in Tirana is one thing. Yes. Um, but in some of these places, even the bigger cities that you mentioned, you know, it's yeah. a different story. You know, I even have, you know, I'll go somewhere and I'll talk to a guy in a shop and he won't answer me. He'll answer mm -hmm. my partner. You know, like things are still very conservative mm -hmm. in many places. So I'm wondering how that how you I mean, deal with those concerns? Even when I travel for fun, I am concerned. Uh, I mm. mean, uh, going around uh, Albania sometimes, uh, and especially growing this this movements. I, I hope they will not grow these far right yeah. movements and whatever uh, radicalism. Um, during all the festival, uh, we have been very, very. We have been working that in every day for every movie there will be security mm -hmm. in order to because you never know uh, uh, what happens uh, of course Albania is safe but we want our people to be safe yes. that nothing happens that no one is scared uh, so we we took care about that too uh, in order to be mm -hmm. to be safe uh, 